Hello there. Hope you're having a great day so far. I'm Sharjil, a kind of pronunciation trainer in your English learning. Imagine it. Thanks a million for joining. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about these three words which confuse lots of people. Are you perplexed? No, sweet, I'm here. Today we'll learn how to pronounce these word, words with their different, different meanings exactly. And not too late. Let's get started. Okay, the first one. What's the first one? How do you pronounce this word? It's quit. Quit. Can you say with me? Quit. The word quit starts with k sound. And then wo. Quo. It's a consonant cluster. Oh, you might have a question. What does the word consonant cluster mean? The consonant cluster is a combination of two or more than two consonant sound and they work together. What did I mean? I mean they sound together. Actually, I don't want to say in detail in this regard right now because this lesson is a tad complicated, a bit difficult and that is why I'll make a special video about consonant cluster and that time you'll be able to get it, okay? Come to the point. After this consonant cluster, there's a short vowel I and ends with t, unvoiced consonant sound t. And this is pronounced as quit, quit. What does the word quit mean? The word quit has a bunch of meanings, loads of meanings. It means to leave your job, school, etc., to stop doing something, to leave a place where you live, or to close a computer program or an application. In a sentence, we can say, the word quit means to stop doing some activity or leave a job, also leave a place or a person set free or pay up something fully. Unit examples, right? Let's hear some examples. I'm considering quitting my job to start a business. He was forced to quit college and find work. Just quit it. Just quit it. It means just alleviate it. Just shake it up. You can say, hey, bro, it's a silly matter. Just quit it. I quit the city when I was five. Okay, that's enough for this word. Hope you got it. Okay, let's go to the second one. What's the second one? What do you think about it? Yeah, I know it's a piece of cake for you. This is pronounced as quite. Quite. Like before, the word starts with qua consonant cluster and then I, as in light, as in might, as in tight, and ends with t, as in time, as in tip. Lots of examples here. And this is pronounced as quite, quite. What does the word quite mean? The word quite means completely, absolutely truly to some extent or to that most degree synonyms for these words are fairly slightly comparatively we often hear something like i'm not quite sure what does that mean it means i'm not completely sure or if somebody says this building is quite large which means this building is really large or truly large let's make it clear with some examples Shakib al-Hassan is, qui al is quite a good player in Bangladesh. I'm sorry, I don't quite understand. He made it quite clear that he never wanted to see her again. The two species are quite different from one another. Hmm, I can see it quite clearly. <laughs> Alright, hope you understand this word. Okay, the last one. Hmm, how do you pronounce this word? Yeah, it's a bit puzzling. It is pronounced as quiet. Quiet. Like before, the word starts with qua consonant cluster and I diphthong and there is a schwa. The sound schwa is the most neutral sound in English and ends with t. Quiet and stress before the word. Quiet. 
The word quiet basically it's an adjective, but sometimes it is used as a noun, as an adverb, as a verb. Oh. And that's why English is so crazy. The word quiet means making very little noise. For example, be quiet. It means be calm. Don't make a noise. And other meanings are without many people or much people or much or mu without many people or much noise or much activity or peaceful or a person who doesn't like to talk too much. Let's make it explicit with some examples. He was quiet and shy. Could you please keep quiet while I'm on the phone? It's a quiet city with handful of shops, bars and restaurants. She's as quiet as mouse. All right, we've finished this. Oh, you may have a question. These are letters. These are letters. Got it. But what are these? Honestly, these are International Phonetic Alphabet. The International Phonetic Alphabet, IPA, is a phonetic notation that is used to show how different words are pronounced. Uh, if you want to be a pro, in English pronunciation, or if you want to be a master in English pronunciation or in a particular accent, or if you want, if you want to increase your listening, speaking, listening, speaking skills, you have to learn it. All right, I, uh, I think this lesson was helpful for you. That's the end of the video. Bye-bye.